Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have in front of you a container that will hold on to a lot of beautiful colors if I add them. And I'd like them to be extremely beautiful. <laughs> Let's see if I can manage that. I want some Anita's white metallic this time. I haven't done that. It definitely makes cells. I want to use a whole lot of enamels. I've got this that's not, wait, <laughs> this is it. This is an enamel from, probably from folk art. It could, it could be deco art. It doesn't really matter. And it's probably gloss. This is iridescent pearl fine, a golden product added to magenta. This is my favorite folk art color shifting purple. This is a master, modern masters um, iridescent blue. This is an enamel, probably from one of those makers that I was mentioning earlier. I want something a little weird in there. There we go, that was weird. I am going to do, what am I gonna do? I want some green in this time. Do I want some green? Maybe I want some, uh, yeah. I think dark purple is calling me. That's a dioxidine purple. I think I need a bunch more gold. So far I may feel like I'm missing something. That might be it. That might not be it. Oh, the bunny's in the backyard again. I guess it's alive. That's great. If you've been follow <laughs> following the dogs in the bunny saga, then you will be relieved to know the rabbit is fine. Well, that's pretty cool. So what else? What else? What else? What else? I want more gold. And I think I want some black. I did want some white enamel. I'm just going to put a little bit of black in there. I like the size of this container because I have an option to not use too much more paint than I need. So this time I'm putting the white enamel and usually the white enamel causes me no end of issues. It's just too much and it swallows everything else. I'm going to throw a little bit more iridescent pink in there. I've got some beautiful colors now. I like that purple and I want a little bit more of it. I'm going to try and prime the black canvas I have waiting for us. I really like that turquoise. I really like all my colors to tell you the truth. So I'm going to put this aside and bring that canvas right over here. I actually have a round canvas I primed. And quick like a bunny, I'm going to use my OXO omelette turning spatula. And yes, bunny is now five feet from me. Hi, Wibbles. <laughs> my little friend. Watch out for dogs. Fortunately, there aren't any out here. It's been a really hot day. So the dogs are lingering in the air conditioned comfort of the house. Not much choice about that in Florida unless you're a native. Yes, I see you. What are you doing? That's so funny. I'm having a visitor. He says, you're talking to me? <laughs> That's so funny. Got any carrots? <laughs> All right, so the last time I did this, I had a pre-primed dry canvas that I primed a couple times to make sure it was nice and black background. This time, as we do this, I am contemplating a bunch of different alternative methods. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I'm going to take, oh, those colors. You know what? I like those colors, but I need some orange. I just can't live without it. And then if I move a few of these things out of my way, that'll be convenient. And I'm going to grab a hold of my dustpan right here. And I'm going to scoff up those colors. And I'm going to try and break up my pattern. I'm not going to make a long sweep. Come on. In. There we go. So. Who knows what this is going to be like. This is a total experiment. Those colors are kind of bizarre. I want that to 
come out a lot more than it is. I'm going to use my gold. I think I'm going to go back in here. I think I'm going to let that drain back and I'm going to grab a shovel and use the shovel. I want more pink. I just don't have enough. And there it is. So I'm just going to keep adding. It's not making me feel like it's super attractive yet, but I'm not done playing yet either. I've got GAC 800 by Golden everything, which means it doesn't necessarily have to um, crack when it dries. That's what it's there for to keep that from happening. So, not my favorite bunch of colors, and they were beautiful in the pan, but like I said, I'm not done yet. I'm going to scrape up all of these colors into this shovel. Put them everywhere. I'll be channeling Jackson Pollock for a minute. I could tip this, maybe that would help. Just scraping out one pouring tool with another. Who knows what this is going to be like. I think I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Cattle Spatula. Available on my Amazon link below, show more. Underneath the video, underneath the Teespring clothing with the all over print t-shirts and leggings on them. So I've been cleaning my tools, but I haven't been putting them back in my workspace, so they're all over here. Okay, so now, let's hope I can keep the paint that I need for the edges if I want it. I've got gold, and I'm just going to go wherever I want with the gold. Around, near the black. It doesn't look good yet. It doesn't look like anything yet to me except for kind of a mess. And then what I want to do, I don't want to throw that in the bucket, but I got to. So where's my little swipe card? I had it right here, there it is, there's one of them. So let's just start someplace. Put some black enamel down. And I'm gonna find a little dish to scrape that off. Maybe I'll scrape it off into my shovel. Who knows what's going to happen now. I want something brighter, like much brighter, because this is looking very dark. I'm very tempted to go ahead and find that pink. Let's try the pink enamel with the gold. I'm not getting a ton of gold cells, just a few. Scrape off my swipe card. I may have to tip this. I wish I had some orange enamel. That would be kind of cool, I think. I'm just going to use whatever color I want. And maybe a little more pink because I like the pink and the turquoise makes usually makes something interesting. The gold is in there because I expect it to just keep making cells. Well, I said I wanted to try orange, so maybe I will. I'm just nervous that it's going to be... <laughs> heinous is the word that came to mind. Alright, so one drop. Boy, if this works out, it'll be a miracle. I want to keep using the enamel. Maybe the blue next. Let's try the blue. Let's try the blue over here. Let's put a bunch more gold right there. You should have chains or balloons or something ready for this. Let's put that residual right down there. No, the blue's not my favorite either. And it's all looking kind of dark. 
which just makes me want to put white in there. I know the white pearl will sell. It's white metallic. I always I always say pearl by accident. Well, because there's enamel in there, it's going to keep making cells anyway, no matter what I do, which is a good thing at this point, because I'm not thrilled. Too much black, I have to say. Just going to go through and keep grabbing at whatever I see that's gold, because I've got the enamel on my card already. This might have to be a background for something else. I like some things about it, I'm just not in love with it yet. Let's see what we can do with... That fixes everything for me every time, I swear. As long as it doesn't sink, it'll be fine. That makes me want to play with some chain. Well, this could be a fail. I'm not super stoked. So, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to grab a really big swipe sheet and put <laughs> some black enamel and some gold Try something completely wrong. But you never know. So, black enamel. More gold. Wipe that off. Hope it doesn't drip all over everything. Might wind up using a straw. I want to keep some of those cells because some of those cells are pretty cool. I'm not hating all of that. It's just really dark. Do I have a clean side? I hope so. Proof miracles do exist. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm not, I'm not betting on it, but it's better than it was by far. I'm going to scrape off my edge catcher paint. Throw my edge catcher right in there. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of, what do I like? Wow, that was kind of weird. There was bubbles waiting. I've got little tiny, do I? Haha, <laughs> little tiny swipe cards somewhere that have all blown away in the wind. Okay, never mind. There's one, that'll help. It's actually way different than I was expecting, but um, I like a lot of things about it now, and I was not expecting that. So I'm going to grab some pink and continue to make a mess. And try and leave some of those beautiful cells behind. My magenta and this red. Actually, there's some really cool stuff happening here now. Hmm. I just keep picking up and experimenting with colors, seeing what I like and where I like it. And I think my temptation is to go ahead 
and use my favorite blue down here. That's working. Yes, that helped a lot. Good. The darkness is fading out some. And that's the enamel again. I don't know if I need to do much of anything to that because it looks great right there. But blending it in probably doesn't hurt and it might sell. So I've got some white over here and I kind of like the way it looks. So maybe I've got 30 seconds. I got no time. Where did my white metallic go? Should be right here. It's so funny how things disappear in front of my face. So this is a this is a sergeant's pearl, and I don't think that's going to hurt anything. What does hurt is when I stick my straw in the paint and then I stick it in my mouth. It's not a good thing. So I've got two minutes to tell you guys, if you like my rescue missions, <laughs> you, uh, you might want to help me out by watching the videos longer. That's the one thing that really does help. And subscribing doesn't hurt. There's 1,310 videos though, so if you're interested in checking out what's on my, my channel, go check out Creative Playlists. There's they're organized by um, genres and by the hundreds. Not so sure about that, but I don't hate it either. I think a little more orange. Whoop, that's not the orange I wanted. So I love you guys. There's 86,000 of you guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you uh, all the contributions that you've made to Keep Me Painting. If any of you are inclined to help keep me painting and you would like to make a $10 donation, you can find uh, an exhibition video on the end screens of any video that will share, you, share with you what this month's prizes are. And you can donate through PayPal or Patreon. The links are underneath the video and they're also on my channel header. And that is way cooler than I envisioned and it might dry kind of dark tomorrow, but it's got so much intense cool stuff going on in there that I'm going to stop complaining about it now. I'm going to give a torch and release the bubbles caught in the paint. Look under my video for my paint pouring recipe. I'm going to, I'm going to throw a little bit of this with that. Even though I annihilated a few cells, which is not, which is not my intention. I've got a few more cells. All right, so I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff I'm not telling you. Check your notifications are turned on. Um, the Amazon link under show more under the video has all kinds of cool stuff on it. And if you shop there, it helps me out. Please give me a thumbs up. I thank you for the wonderful comments. I think I mentioned that already. Look on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook for tomorrow's video. And uh, join if you're of a mind. It's a good place to be a student ask, and ask questions and share your work. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has products from Fine Art America and Pixels.com since 2013 in fact and there's some cool stuff there. Any shopping you do is going to help me out. I really appreciate you guys. I love you so much and I hope you keep coming back for a while and if you binge watch, wow this is actually enamel kick butt. What am I going to say? Even when you think all is lost, enamels will bring you back. Great cells. Really cool stuff. Couple tweaks here and there I might want to make. Probably not important. All right, so I love you guys. I'll see you and on. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I'm so happy you joined me. I'll see you soon. I hope tomorrow. Bye for now. Priscilla out.